Hey everyone, welcome back to Men's Essentials channel. Today I just want to make a part two on my review of Dr. Squatch versus Duke Cannon Soaps. The first video was on the pine tar scent of each one of these soaps. So if you want to go see that video, go to my page, check out the videos and you can see part one of Duke Cannon versus Dr. Squatch. And today guys, I'm going to be reviewing the Bay Rum scent of each one of these soaps. So um, stick around to see what I think about these. Um, and on this channel, guys, just a quick reminder, I'm going to be making reviews about watches, sunglasses, just anything that I think is an essential item that men should have. So if that's something you're interested in, please like and subscribe. Now, I've been bombarded by the Dr. Squatch ads, as I'm sure you guys have too. Um, so, like I said in my original video, they convinced me to try one of their soaps, and I did the Pine Tar one. Today, I'm doing Bay Rum from both of these companies. I've already uh, tried Duke Cannon in the past, but I wanted to try um, some Dr. Squatch to compare both of them, and that's why I'm making this video. But yeah, those Dr. Squatch ads are pretty funny and convincing. So let's actually uh, get into the, get into the review and start with Dr. Squatch. So on the description for the soap on the website, it says it's an intoxicatingly delightful cocktail of clove, cinnamon, pine, and citrus. And I think that's a great description. For the soap, um, the clove, cinnamon, and citrus definitely come through. I didn't get as much pine in the smell, but those other three ingredients definitely um, were noticeable. And I've got to tell you guys, I love the scent. And I mean, I absolutely love how this soap smells. I was surprised. Um, I didn't expect it, like it as much. Um... If you watch my original video on Dr. Squatch versus Duke Cannon, I reviewed the pine tar one and that dr squatch scent wasn't my favorite um, but this one is amazing i'm not gonna lie i love it i'm probably gonna buy this one again just to try it out or just to have more um i think it's a very good fall scent to have it just uh that that spice and the cinnamon that comes through you know it's just a good scent to have on you during fall so um I love it. Uh, it leaves a good feeling on my skin. It was soft. You know, my skin felt great afterwards. And again, the ingredients on Dr. Squatch, guys, I think they're better than uh, Duke Cannon. Uh, the ingredients on this one, I'll, I'll try to show those, but it's got shea butter, um, some sea salt, sepan saponified oils. It says it's got olive, sustainable palm oil, and coconut oil. So, in my opinion, those are all three good ingredients. Uh, it leaves, leaves my skin feeling great, so that's a really good plus on Dr. Squatch too. But the scent, I can't overstate how much I liked it. Honestly, that spice um, and the clove, it just smells really good and it's manly. It is sweet, but not too sweet where it's like overpowering. That is one issue that I mentioned in my last video of the pine tar scent of Dr. Squatch. I felt that the pine tar one was a little overpowering. Um, but one thing I do want to point out is that I realized that I maybe was using too much. I, I realized that these soaps are a bit concentrated. So if you just rub some on a washcloth and then use that washcloth on your body, um, it'll, it'll work just fine. Honestly, I think less is more with Dr. Squatch. So you don't have to use a whole bunch on your body to get a good results from it. So I just want to point that out. Um, but yeah, um, honestly, if I were to give this soap a score, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I know that that's a high score, but I, I just really love the smell. I love the way I felt afterwards. My skin felt great. I, I love the scent. So... Um, yeah, that's those are my thoughts on the Dr. Squatch Bay Rum. So the next one is the Duke Cannon Bay Rum. And uh, now this one on the website, the ingredients 
or the scent notes that they mention are citrus, musk, cedarwood, and island spices. Um, so this one, I didn't get as much spice from, from this one. And just to be honest, one of the first things I noticed was the smell on this one. I did not like very much. Maybe, I don't know, just to me, it, it smelled more artificial than the Dr. Squatch one. To me, this one smelled almost like just an artificial... It's like they tried too hard to make the Bay Rum scent. That's just my opinion, guys. But to be honest, I didn't like it. Now, um, it was good, but not, not great. So... Yeah, th this one's not going to be for me, to be honest with you. But, of course, one plus that Duke Cannon always has is the size of the soap. It lasts a long time, so that's always good. Um, but, unfortunately, with this one, I didn't like the smell. So, I don't even know if I want to finish this soap. Because it's going to take a long time to, to use it in the shower and finish it off. Um, I probably will, just, just because. But, um, yeah. And, and, and here's the other thing with... With, Doc, with Duke Cannon, like, they, their ingredients aren't as natural as Dr. Squatch's. Um, I mean, sodium tallowate, palmate, cocoa weight, uh, glycerin, uh, sodium chloride. I mean, none of these ingredients are horrible or bad for you compared to, like, the mainstream stuff like Dove and other ones can have based on what I've researched and heard. So it's not like they're gonna kill you, but to be honest, Dr. Squatch just has better ingredients. Um, so, um, I mean, yeah. Uh, but again, guys, um, I do love Duke Cannon as a brand. So I'm. this isn't a representation of Duke Cannon in general. It's just this one soap that I did not like as much. So, I do want to recommend another Duke Cannon soap. If you're looking for something similar to the Bay Rum, the Dr. Squatch Bay Rum, I would try Duke Cannon's um, Buffalo Trace uh, Bourbon Soap. That one, in my opinion, smells a lot more like the Bay Rum from Dr. Squatch. That Buffalo Trace soap from Duke Cannon is honestly amazing. I... I I love that one just as much as I like the Bay Rum from Dr. Squatch. So if you're looking for something similar, I would uh, recommend that Buffalo Trace one from Duke Cannon. I actually have a bottle of Buffalo Trace at home too. So it was kind of cool to see that Duke Cannon made a soap with this bourbon that I really enjoy. Uh, so that soap smells good. So go check it out, guys. So the score I would give this specific Duke Cannon scent um, would be probably a 5 out of 10 because the smell, the scent just wasn't there for me, guys. Um, obviously, the size of Duke Cannon soaps is always good. It lasts a long time and it does leave your skin feeling good. But this specific smell is not for me. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I know some of you guys prefer Duke Cannon. Some of you guys prefer Dr. Squatch. Um, I just like hearing opinions. Let me know. Um, if there's a different scent that you guys think I should try, um, I will do that. Um, again, Duke Cannon is awesome. I've tried a bunch of their stuff and I love it. But this specific scent just wasn't for me. So let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe, guys. Because um, I'm going to be making more videos like this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about these soaps today. I hope you have a great day. Catch you next time.